Year after year, day after day, week after week, we return back to the familiar place. This will be the first transmog competition that we have done this entire year. The first transmog competition of all of 2021 will be done right here with the EU Horde. Boys, are you ready? So, we're starting off with something incredible and amazing. Salty Crampy from Tavern of the Lazy Peons with obviously his scuffed Molnir and his scuffed Thor Transmog. So let's look at what he's got going on there. That belt right there is a vanilla WoW BOE belt. That helmet there is a crafted blacksmithing item from Wrath of the Lich King. That chest piece there is a burnt, sorry, a cataclysm five-man dungeon uh, reward as well as the legs. Those gloves there are Valor Point rewards from Mists of Pandaria, and those boots are from Vanilla WoW. I think the shoulders are from Vanilla WoW as well. This is a pretty mediocre set, and this looks just like a Kmart 4 set that you'd probably have in, look, music's lower. Okay, let me take it down, let me take it down. It, it felt loud to me too, it felt loud to me too. So generally, uh, Thoric, like, uh, Thork, yeah. Oh, that's that's great. That's really smart. Okay, good. Um, do you have a mount? Was thinking of Elagon and Fenrir. So this is uh this is what Thor would have looked like if Joss Whedon had actually directed the Avengers instead of uh instead of Justice League. So thank God that didn't happen. This transmog's pretty shitty. I'm gonna be honest, but it's you know it is what it is. I mean, you had an obvious theme. I think the hammer works pretty well. To be Really, it does work pretty well as Molnir, especially for a two-hander. And overall, I'm not gonna complain about this too much. Uh, Thor is my favorite Avenger, so I'm all right with it. This is decent. He tried, it's good. Next one. Cicada the Seeker, he was one of the final people that I invited. So let's look at what he's got there, right there. That's a challenge artifact challenge artifact brewmaster weapon those shoulders there come from the antorus set for monks back in legion that chest piece there the tabard that is the revendreth i believe actually not revendreth the court of the harvesters tabard for getting exalted the chest piece and also the legs are just mists of pandaria and the belt as well i believe that belt specifically is from either throne of thunder or siege of orgamar monk set from back in the mists of pandaria this is a decent looking set. I like it a lot. The fact is the colors fit together very well. And this is an evolved double dick belt rather than the one that other people have that just has the leaf in it. I like this a lot. Overall, everything about this fits together well. And the tabard I think works really well, even though ironically it's for a vampire faction. This is good. I'm proud of you. I like it a lot. Good job. Let's see the mount. Okay. That, this is an opportunity. Uh, this is an example of whenever it's better to just not tell people you have a mount. Be like, I don't have a mount. I don't have one. Uh, the Kolkoran Warwolf is not a good mount. That is a much better mount, but unfortunately, you've already used your chance. Neither one of them are particularly amazing. However, Cicada, good job on your transmog. It looks very nice. The mount is uh, mediocre, however. Let's go to the next one. Neanderthal Exorno from the guild Thykino. Now, obviously, this guy's going with a more subdued, a more Black Empire type look. He's one of the cultists for Nizoth. He's using his shoulders right there from the burning, sorry, Battle for Azeroth a cloth set that you're able to get from, I believe, dungeons. That weapon right there is obviously the sword that you get from being part of the Vinthyr Covenant. It's a very, very nice sword. I like it a lot. And then also, that offhand that he's using there is the Thakal. What is that there? Wrong, it's Queen. Purple Dungeon? Wait, what? The daggers from... Wait, what? Let me see. Fang of the Behemoth? Wait a minute. That's from that's from the Eternal Palace. Really? Yo, you're right. Why did I think it was the Revendreth one? It looks very similar. I'm not used to seeing it. I just kind of assumed that it was based off of that other guy. Okay, yeah, you're totally right. Yeah. The shoulders are from Legion. Holy fuck. I forgot all about that. This is really real. Oh, the hood. Dude, I really, really, really like the hood. The hood, I think, really makes this set. What do you guys think about this one? 
Yeah, what, what do you guys think about this one? I really like it a lot. It's okay? Yeah, I think this is badass, especially with the uh, the Legion Artifact Weapon uh, Skull that follows him around. This is really, really cool. Purple does equal win. So, Zorano, do you have a mount to match with this? I need my blueberry first. Ooh. All right. Okay. The class order hall mount. I like to see it. That looks pretty good. Yeah, this is nice, man. What do you guys think? The mount's better than the mog? I mean, to be honest, yeah, the mount is really cool. But overall, I like the set and I like the mount. I think this is a great combination of both. And uh, I'm impressed. This is a good job. Proud of you. Very good job. Zerno, good work. And I actually, for some reason, debated myself into thinking that that was from fucking the Rivendreth Covenant. I don't know why. It, it does look kind of like that, to be honest, guys. Give me a little bit of a break. But yeah, that's actually the sword. It's the, the dagger from the, uh, the fucking Blackwater Behemoth. Challenger Holia. So we've got a combination here of uh, some of the PvP sets and the uh, Ant... Not Antors, the... Uh, why do I say Antors? Um, the set that's from Castle Nathria, and also the chest piece and the leggings right there, which is from Missa Pandaria Five-Man Dungeons. Hi, Asmon. Keep up the good, good work and awesome streams. Well, I appreciate it, and I will try to do the, exactly that. Now, this time, I'm right, and this weapon here actually comes from the Revendreth faction. So I got it right this time. That's the rapier. And then also that shield comes from the five-man dungeons in Shadowlands. This does look really, really good. I love the weapon. I think the weapon is badass. And everything else about this, that cloak right there, this is the parrot feather cloak that comes from the first boss in, uh, uh, what do you call it? Comes from the first boss in Freehold, and because it's black, I believe that's the mythic and uh, and normal mode version. Because the heroic one is red. That's a really nice looking item. Now overall, I think the shield looks really nice. I like the weapon, but I don't really know if this is enough to really get me going. Is this enough to really get me excited, Holia? Now, I'm going to say this. If you have a mount to match with this set that can really take it to the next level, then maybe you could be looking at actually being a competitor. But with just the trans monk that we have here. So here's, here's what I say. Sometimes you get it. And sometimes you don't get it. Holia, you didn't get it. You got God. The set is, let's be honest, it's pretty low effort. It's just, no, no, come on, let's be real, man. Like, it's two different sets. You just put together all of the armor, and then you had two under pieces. That's it. Like, it, it's not that good. Wish uh, I was vent there. Yeah, well, there you go. Could be better. Could be better. Could be worse, though. Good try. Thank you for coming. We'll do three more. Three more after this one, and then we'll do the next giveaway. Lee Shin be dead. Kneel before the new Thunder Queen worms. This is fucking amazing. I love this. This is absolutely fucking amazing. Oh my god. So you've got right there, that sword right there is, this is a very, very rare sword. And because of its coloration, that I believe is the heroic version of the sword, uh, was it like a thousand, it's like something, Hells or some shit like that. Yeah, great sword of Frozen Hells. This is a random drop that can drop off of any of the dungeon bosses, or sorry, uh, the raid bosses in Throne of Thunder. This is a uh, extremely rare sword, and I used to have this back in the day. Those leggings there are also from the LFR version of Throne of Thunder, and there's a recolor of those that's also sold from Island Expeditions as well. The gloves and the boots right there are from, I believe, the uh, Zandalari uh, Heritage Armor. This belt and these shoulders here are from Heroic Throne of Thunder for the Paladin set, and of course the helmet is from Lee Shin. This is a very, very, very cool set. I like this a lot, 
and it does come in, in keeping with the uh, the new age uh, thought of taking previous existing male characters and making them female. So you're very timely with this trans mug. What do you guys think of it? You guys like it? I do too. I think it looks really good. Alrighty, let's see the mount. Jeezy, you got a mount for us? That sucks. It's all right. I, mean, I guess it, I don't know. It does look kind of cool. Eh, it does look kind of cool. Let's be honest. It does. It's not amazing, but it does look kind of cool. So this mount right here is the Drake of the uh, West Wind, and it's specifically from getting exalted with Tolbarad, and it costs a lot of Tolbarad commendations. It's like 200 and something or whatever. Uh, it's very expensive. I remember whenever I got it back in the day. Uh, it's a decent looking mount. The transmog, though, I really have to say, this transmog is great. Can you pet my little dragon? Uh, yeah, okay, sure. There you go. He's been a good boy. Should be Horridon. Yeah, potentially. I think Horridon would be better. All right, let's go to the next one. Kairu, the Kingslayer from the guild, Eight Nation. So let's look at the armor that he's got going on there. That weapon right there. This weapon is the Citadel Enforcer's Claymore that drops from Lord Marogar in the first, he's the first boss of ICC. That belt right there comes from the Siege of Orgamar set for DKs as well as the shoulders. The gloves and the boots there are from the mythic version of the Antorus set for Death Knights. Those leggings there are from a five-man dungeon in Mists of Pandaria. And that tabard there is the tabard of the Cloud Seekers. Or the, the Cloud Serpent, fucking Order of the Cloud Serpent, whatever the hell they're called. I don't even know. And then the helmet here is from Engineering as well. Now, I'm going to be honest. I think the goggles are fucking stupid. I think that there is absolutely no... There's nothing about this set that looks good. This is the kind of set that you don't use. It's like if I was doing an Alliance NA transmog competition, this one would still look bad for comparison, okay? It looks like you've got yourself a bib on. Like, it looks like, honestly, it looks like you're like five years old and your mom put a bib over you so she could feed you food and you could spit it out and get it all over yourself. No, really, I'm, I'm serious. This looks stupid as hell. This is one of the worst ones that I've seen. This is, this is, uh, it, it's dog shit ass garbage. Feels bad, man? Well, you don't have to feel bad about it. Just make a better set. What, what's the mount? Yeah, just make a better set. Easy. Let's see the mount. Okay, another one of these. So this is the Drake of the North Wind that drops from Vortex Pinnacle. Um, so listen, I'm going to talk a little bit about this. The mount is a relatively decent combination with your set, but the set is just so mediocre that your set's a 3, and the mount's also like a 2.5, so you're at 2.75 out of 10. Is that good? No, it's not. That could be a lot better could be a lot better somebody in chat said that it doesn't look like you even tried to transmog anything it's not good better luck next time I'm gonna tell train about you he's gonna pull up your logs let's go to the next one. Oh, flaps famed slayer of denathrius Holy fuck. This is really good. God damn. So that weapon right there is, I think, one of the new weapons that you're able to get in Ardenweald. I don't know if you actually have to be part of the Night Fae Covenant for that or not, but it's a new Shadowlands staff. The helmet and the shoulders there are from patch 8.2 in Nazmir. And let's see, I think that all the rest of the pieces are just random assorted leather items that I honestly don't even know where the fuck they came from. This is a really, really good set. Like, I like how uh, how subdued the colors are. I like how, how drab it is and just everything about it. It's from Nashitar, is it from Nashitar too? Regardless, I think this looks really, really good. You're right that the gloves are a little bit awkward and they don't quite fit with everything else. However, because of the overall aesthetic of the set and how well everything else works, what I really like about this is actually the weapon. The reason why I like the weapon is because the little things that are coming off of it, the leaves, actually function and look like seaweed. 
And that, I think, is really, really good attention to detail and actually taking an item that wouldn't make sense naturally and making it make sense in a new context. I like it a lot. Good fucking work. Now, Flaps, do you have a mount to go with this sun? Uh, The green mount from Island Expeditions squawks. I thought that was his name. Because the red one is Shark Bay. Now, Rich Campbell got this mount before I did in BFA and spent a year and a half lording it over me. Until, of course, I got it because I have that mount now. Now, I'll be honest. I actually think this set looks pretty decent. The mounts that move around a lot, it is kind of hard to judge them in the same way. And to a certain degree, I feel like this guy could be part of the Flying Dutchman. You know, like he's a pirate and the, his ship can go underwater and shit. I think it's decent. It's not amazing. It's not incredible, but it's decent. And I like it. Flaps, great work. Good job. I'm proud of you. Gentlemen, we're going to do one more, and then after that, we are going to do the next giveaway. One more. Matsu, the Proven Defender. Matsu, the Proven Defender. Now... He's using, obviously, a lot of the Antorus items. For, for druids, as well as I believe that's the feral druid uh, artifact weapon. Hmm. Hmm. So there's a part of me... Okay, let me, let me just kind of go through my thought process. I really like the set. I like also how he's using the BFA belt right here to match with the other armor to make it make it look like it's leather. I think this is really, really nice, and it does kind of give off the vibe of, like, a tribalistic warrior. I like that a lot. The weapons are a little bit awkward, however, I think that they're okay, given the rest of the set and the fur on the weapons matching with the fur on the helmet and the shoulders as well. Overall, I think this is a decent-looking set. It's not amazing, but it's a decent-looking set. I'm trying to decide how I would feel about it. That's okay. I like the chest piece. I feel like the chest piece and like the painting on the chest piece and also the eyes is my favorite part of this entire set and the favorite part of how he looks. But overall, I think this does definitely give you the vibe of a Torin Chieftain. And so if that's the goal, the goal has been achieved. The legs are a little bit weird. You're right. Do you have a mount? No. All right. Let's get back into the next current. Uh, let's get back into the next set. Sorry, guys. I, I know I made you wait, but um, you know. It, it had to happen. All right. Huntsmaster Morsari from the guild. Premonition. So this guy obviously looks like he's from some kind of fucking... Like, he looks like he's from, like, Apocalyptico or something like that. This set does look badass. Chess piece there is obviously from Vanilla WoW. All the rest of the pieces are just from random different expansions. I think they're mostly Wrath of the Lich King, Cataclysm, somewhere around there. And the weapon, of course, is the Legion Artifact Weapon for Marksmanship Hunters. This set does look really nice. I think the face painting and everything about that does look amazing. Um, overall... This is a really, really nice set. I like it a lot. Now, do you have a mount to go along with this set, Morseri? Morseri, do you have a do you have a mount? Are you ready? Are you prepared? Okay. This right here is the Madden Chaos Runner that drops from Rangor Zavaros and Makari in patch 7.3's, uh, the new, the new, the new patch, uh, the new content there, right, in Argus. I like it a lot. It's a good mount. It matches very well with the color. Does it match with the theme? Hardly. But it does look very good, and I don't think that it's wrong. I like this a lot. Good job. Morseri, this is not amazing. It is not incredible. It is an average at best transmog, but sometimes average at best is just as good as it needs to get. Good job. I'm proud of you. Let's go on to the next one. 
Brewmaster Cherry F from the guild Sad Boys, and it's a it's a girl, all right? Well, we've got that staff right there. I believe that staff, let's see, where, I think it's not from ICC. I don't remember exactly. Abracadaver, yes it is. It's actually from specifically uh, the second boss's ICC, Lady Death Whisper, and it's from Tin Man, I believe. And no, 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 it's from Festergut. Yes, it's from Festergut, I believe. Because the Valkyrie staff is from uh, is is from Lady Lady Death Whisper, and Festergut is the one that drops Abracadaver on Ten Man, and the Valkyrie staff is from Twenty Five Man. Of course, I don't know how I could have forgotten that. Anyway, cock reveal at three hundred K. No, I don't think so. Not gonna happen. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, anyway, those shoulders there, of course, are again the uh, Antorus shoulders. I believe those specific version is actually for PvP. That's the dominant gladiator. Is that right? No, it's not. Okay, I, I don't remember which color is which because especially Horde has different colorations. Regardless, it's the same thing. It's the Antorus set, and then those gloves right there, I believe, are the Maghar Orc Heritage Armor gloves. They look really, really cool, and both the leggings and the boots there are just random assorted items. I do really like the staff a lot it does look like kind of like a uh the in between a shaman and a necromancer i think it has the best kind of combination of the two what do you guys think about this set what do you guys think about it i like it i think it looks really cool the chest doesn't match I i'm a fan I, I actually think this looks really interesting the reason why i like it is because it's unique i haven't seen a lot of like this before now, obviously, whenever I look at transmogs, one of the main things that I base it off of is how common is it. And I've never seen somebody that's using this set that goes with a staff instead. I like it. You guys don't like it. That's okay. Let's see the mount. No mount. All right. Listen, I'll lose. That's smart. You got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Good job, Cherry. Volcanic, maybe? No. Um, overall, this is a very, very nice set. It's interesting, it's unique, and it's different. I appreciate that, even though some people in chat do not. It's okay. Not everybody can understand what it means to take risks and strive for greatness. Let's go to the next one. What the fuck? Critical! Veteran of the Horde! This is a very interesting set of armor. I really, really, really like these shoulders. Now, you know what shoulders those are specifically? I believe those shoulders are the uh, elite gladiator, primal gladiator shoulders. Yes, they are. They, these are the elite primal gladiator shoulders. Extremely rare. You hardly ever see these in the game. And this set looks fucking badass. So let's look at the rest of what he's got going on here. That belt right there is a mythic Blackrock Foundry belt, which actually specifically drops from Brackenspore in High Mall. But it's a very nice looking belt. Those gloves there are from Shout the Fractured. Yeah, those people people are, are they're, they're very nice people unless they're not then they're terrible and uh, also those gloves right there are, of course from castle nathria and the weapon there is one of the death knight artifact weapons i believe that's the blood uh the blood weapon and then those boots there come from i believe that is myth no that is the pvp elite version of the uh gladiator gear that came out in the last season of bfa i like that a lot Good job. And I think also those leggings right there, these leggings, what are these leggings? These are PVP Elite Gladiator leggings. And which one are they? Demonic Gladiator. These are the Elite Demonic Gladiator and Taurus offset leggings that he's using with the rest of his set. This is a very, very, very nice set. Oh, it's not Elite? It's not? Oh, I thought that it was. Uh, I'm not really sure what the Elite set looks like then. Not Elite, okay. It's just red. Critical. This is a very, very, very nice set. It is extremely red. And one thing that I really appreciate and I really respect with what you've done here is the fact that you didn't overdo it with the Blackrock Foundry set. Now, a lot of warriors like to overdo it. This is one of the coolest sets in the game and they appreciate that. And so they just try to use as much of it as possible. You didn't do that. You went with one piece and that's all you needed. All the rest of the pieces fit together very well. And actually, the best thing about this set is the fact that it doesn't match perfectly. It is a little bit tattered. It's a little bit battle-worn. It's a little bit discolored. And I think overall, the vibe and aesthetic of it are really good. Do you have a mount? Wow. 
Holy shit! That's the vicious gladiator's uh the the scorpion. Damn, this is really nice. Dude, I really like this. this is probably one of the best ones that we've seen. He's even got the uh always oh, got his guild thing too. Holy fuck, this is a PvP Andy? Yeah, thank god. A lot of the PvP Andys have terrible transmog taste. It's good to see this guy doing a little bit better. Holding his weapon, ready to go off to war. Critical, I love it. I like it a lot. I'm proud of you. Great work. Good job. Good job. Let's go to the next one. Pixty from the Guild 4 gang. Now you're right. This is at the four, because it's at the bottom of all the other sets. Now let's be honest, Pixty. The amount of effort that you put into this set is probably about equivalent to the amount of effort the developers put into adding pixels to your legs. AKA, none. I'm sorry to say, but this set in general is just very uh, underwhelming. This looks like some sort of really scuffed demon hunter from Vanilla WoW before they added Blood Elves into the game. They had no idea what a demon hunter really was, and so they just put on some random items and they said, Hey, look at you, you're a demon hunter now. You're blind, but you're wearing an eye patch. How does that work? Where are your warglaves, but you have axes? Are you a lumberjack? It's weird. What do you guys think about this one? The shoulders are a little bit... Yeah, he's a lumber hunter. He's not a demon hunter. He's a lumber hunter. I like that. It seems clean. I think that overall it's a decent looking set. It's not terrible. I'm not saying that. But I don't think that it's particularly amazing either. I think that it's just an average set at best. Let's go to the next one. See what else we have. Oh, do you have a mount, Pixty? I forgot to say the mount. Do you have a mount? No, but I'll gladly mount you. Okay. The chess piece makes a little bit more sense now. Oh, wow. Sylvanas. Okay, okay, okay. All right. This is really good. Uh, PST from the Guild Possession. I like this a lot. That chess piece right there. This is a very, very interesting chess piece. This comes from the Dark Shore Warfront, as well as that helmet right there. It comes from the Legion Hunter set. Those shoulders there are very rare, and I actually don't remember exactly where they're from. They're from a PvP set for hunters, and I believe it's somewhere around Cataclysmic. I don't remember exactly though. Wormstalker Spalders. No, I'm not. This is actually a PvE item. Where is it? It's from Dragon Soul. Holy shit, I forgot all about that set. I never see it. And all the rest of these pieces are basically all from the, uh... uh yeah, I mean, isn't there too many of them? Blightguard, Blightguard, Blightguard. There's only three? No, nah, it's not too many. I really like this Cossack that people wear. And I think, like, the chainmail armor does look amazing. So I'm a big fan of that. And overall, I think this set does look badass. What do you guys think about this one? Chess piece looks like a model from Diablo 3. Yeah, exactly. And the weapon's just an engineering gun, too. I've seen many of those. Yeah, this is really nice. I don't think that it's a full set. The helmet and the shoulders are not part of the set. They're different, unique pieces for each one of them. The shoulders are from Dragon Soul, and the helmet is from Legion. So uh, I don't think this is anywhere even close to a full set, which is why I'm kind of impressed with how well it fits together and the colors that come together with it. It almost reminds me of if someone was trying to actually transmog and be like Sylvanas before, of course, she went crazy. Well, I mean, like super crazy because she was crazy before, but super crazy. This is pretty much what it would look like. I like it. Good job. Psst. Get on your mouth. Oh, wow. Hmm. This actually is, this is the obvious choice. Yes, this is the obvious choice. And the reason why it's the obvious choice is because it's a good choice. Psst. Good job. I like it. This is a great mount for your set. And I think that it fits very well. I'm proud of you. This set's interesting. It's different. It's unique. And I like it. Good work. This might not necessarily be a winner, but we'll have to see. Let's go to the next one. Juan, the Uncorrupted from the Guild Helix. Okay, let's see what he's got going on. 
So that weapon right there is the artifact weapon. Those shoulders there come from Mythic, uh, Mythic Nighthold. And that tabard there, which one is this? I always forget what tabard that is. Shit. I don't remember. I think it's a tabard from like BFA or some shit. The Zandalari Empire. Oh, no wonder I don't know what that is. That's a horde tabard. Who cares? Okay, overall, I do like this set, though. I think the shoulders and the weapon match really well together, and even, like, the Under Armour there looks really, really good, too. I think that in terms of, like, depth of color and richness of color, this is definitely on there. Like, I really, really, really like this a lot. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this? I think it looks good. Yeah, this is, this is good. It's basic as hell? I don't think so, actually. Uh, I think the reason why this is good is because it's basic, or it looks basic, but it's really not. Like, I haven't seen a lot of people use something like this before, which is why I'm impressed by it. Copied from previous winner? Maybe. Too many balls. Why? There's only five. That's it. Yeah, overall, all of these pieces fit together really well, and there's nothing that really feels out of place. I can make this better? How can you make it better? Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's great. All right. So, this is a good set, Warren. Do you have a mount or besides that one? I was assuming class order hall. The Lucid Nightmare. Okay. Okay. All right. I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. That looks pretty good. It's not incredible. It's not amazing. I was expecting the class order hall mount personally. I think that it would have matched a little bit better. But this is okay. It's a decent choice and you did all right, Warren. I'm not saying it's the I'm not saying it's gonna win. Hey, chill. It's it's good though. It's a good mount, Warren. I'm proud of you. Good work. Don't let Shaq get you down. See what you did? Apple the proud. I really like this helmet and shoulders combo. That shoulder set and also the boots down there, that set, this is good. That is the, excuse me, that is the set that you're able to get from Siege of Orgrimmar for hunters. And this weapon right here, I think this is, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is also one of the artifact weapon bows from, that's a marksman artifact weapon bow from Legion. Overall, this is really good. Like, I'm gonna be honest, like, this is, this is crazy good. The helmet fits so well. Like, that's what I really like. The helmet fits so well with the shoulders. This is incredibly well done. The boots, okay, so here's the, here's the reality with the boots, okay? The boots are a problem. Thanks, new player here. Wow, great job. Um, the boots are a problem, but I think that could just be because of the lighting in this area because the boots are actually part of the same set as the shoulders are. Yeah, this is a new, this is a new player. And this guy's already coming up with a set that looks like this. I'm impressed. Check his achievements. 8,000. Yep, there you go. New player, there it is. I like this a lot, man. What do you guys think? Thoughts, guys? I like it a lot. I'm a fan. Yeah, it's fashion sense. Straight up. Real talk. All right, good. I'm glad you guys like it. 7 of 10, 8 out of 10. Great. All right, Apple. Go ahead and show me the mount. Do you have a mount? It's not required, but it's uh, preferred. What the fuck? Oh, shit. That's a big boy. Oh, that's a big boy. So anyway, uh, this set does look really, really nice. I think the mount does match perfectly in terms of the way that the colors are. 
The mount colors are perfect with the set. Now the actual theme is not really that great, but I'm gonna look past that and actually say this does look good. A lot of you guys in the chat liked it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that, uh, you know, it's good enough. What do you guys think? Yeah, what do you guys think? It's a bad set. No, it's not. Agreed? Okay, good. All right, let's go on to the next one. Thanks a lot. Good. Chinero. Shameless Berserkers. Hmm. Furry? <sighs> I don't know about this one, boys. I don't know. This is a little bit, uh, a little bit scary for me to see. Uh... Some of the Legion items right there. That chest piece. Isn't that the Shaman Tier 2 chest piece? What the fuck? Using the artifact? What? No, that's not the artifact. That's one of the Night Fae bows. Oh, and he's got... A oh, my... Wait, this is an actual furry! Oh, my... Oh, my God! I will snuggle you! No! Oh, dude. Oh, dude. What the fuck? Come on, man. I, I didn't think we'd actually get a real one in here. Hold on, Asmod. I got another transmog. May I show? Yes. Please. Okay. Let's go. Give me a minute, guys. We'll see what it is. Okay, dude. Now, great. Okay, so we've we've gotten our uh, our, our our stripper furries. We, we've gotten that uh, out of the way. Do, I I don't even I don't I probably should not ask this. Do you have a mount? Do you have a mount? Also, here is my playmate. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, that's a. Let, let's let's skip. Time time to fucking skip. Porky, the fabulous from the guild monkey. Now obviously this set's a little bit interesting. It's the Castle Nathri, a chess piece. The shoulders, the gloves, and also the boots there from the Mythic Nighthold set for warriors, and also that helmet there, which is also from the Mythic Nighthold set as well. And the uh, leggings there, I believe those are the Benthier leggings. And this axe right here is the Tyrannical Gladiator's Axe. It's a very interesting weapon. You hardly ever see it used. And the belt there comes from, I believe, that's either the PvP Warlords of Draenor belt, or also there's another version of that. Yeah, it's the PvP Warlords of Draenor belt. I'm like 90% sure. But there's another one that comes from LFR Hellfire Citadel as well. Regardless, this set does look really nice. I do like the uh, like the fur coat or like wolf pelt that's kind of around this head for the Castle Nathria set. Even though this like weird face guard thing doesn't fit that well. What do you guys think about it? I, I like it. I just don't really know, like, how original it really is. Shoulder color is meh. You've charmed me. Okay. Well, have you charmed a mount? Let's see your mount. The Smoldering Ember Worm from Nightbane and Return to Karazhan. An interesting choice. Definitely a match in terms of theme, but is it a match? Can you guys spread out a bit so I don't have to, like, look at the next person? Um, yeah, because I want to give people a little bit more space. Okay, cool. So, hmm. I feel like the, the theme is definitely there. The theme is 100% there. But the mount is overused. It's not super special. I feel like this mount... This entire set, this entire performance here, is just... It's decidedly mediocre. It, it, there's nothing special about it. There's nothing amazing about it. We've seen things like this before multiple times, and now, once again, we return to see the exact same thing. That's how I feel. It's forgettable. That's about right. It's forgettable. 
Let's go to the next one. Can you say happy birthday to my dad? His name is Kai. Happy birthday, Kai. Sorry about your son's transmuck. Uh, it's not your fault. Rudal PP. So we have once again another warrior set that is decidedly mediocre. Now let's go ahead and look through this. Now that tabard right there is the original Arathi Basin tabard. I'm a pally, by the way. Cool. So the tabard right there is the original Arathi Basin tabard for Horde. Those gloves right there and also the leggings are from the tier 5 offset gear that you're able to get from Serpent Shrine Caverns and also from Tempest Keep. And it's the Warrior offset. The shoulders are from, actually the shoulders and the boots are both from the Warrior Nighthold set as well. And the belt is from Heroic Brackenspore from High Mall. It's the heroic version of the same set that we saw earlier. The Red Belt. And the weapon, of course, is the sword from, from Flamebender Kagraz. It also comes from Heroic Blackrock Foundry. It's a decent looking set, not terrible. But I do think that it's very mediocre. And I'm going to be honest with you, Ruddle. Unless you get on the biggest, longest, fattest, veiniest, hugest dick mount possible. The worst part about this is that I think that it's almost really good. He's riding on the massive frog. Now, I don't think that this is a winner, okay? I really don't. I don't think this is a winner, but I think that it's really cool. I, I definitely think that it's a cool looking mount. I like it. I'm a winner. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Um, listen, it's nice. I like it. However, I don't think that it's really a perfect match for your set. However, the colors are pretty much perfect. The colors are pretty much perfect, even though it's a little bit odd to see somebody riding a frog around with that type of armor. So you guys like it. You guys like it a lot. I I'll let it pass, okay, guys? I'll let it pass. Can I hire that big boy? No, you cannot. Absolutely not. My name is also cool. Ruddle Pee Pee? I mean, is it really? Uh, it's like Root Leap Main Druid. I have no idea what the fuck that means. I'm going to be honest. Decent set, though. Good mount. Architect Nandali. Now, obviously, we're using a number of different pieces right there. That's Tibu's Blazing Sword that comes from uh, the BFA uh, trash items. That leggings right there, the gloves, and I believe also the boots are all from the old deer set. I like that a lot. Those shoulders, I think, are from the, uh, let's see. Is that the Warlock and Taurus set? That's really interesting if it is. I like that a lot. With, of course, the Court of the Harvesters tabard. And also using the, oh, the little Venthyr blood vial as your offhand. I like this a lot. What do you guys think? Azula? Who the fuck is Azula? Azula, last airbender. Damn. It's actually a really, yeah, this is good. Look. All right. I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm definitely impressed. Good job. But overall, I mean, obviously matching to something else is one thing. But on top of that, even without any sort of a correlation, I think this set looks really fucking nice. Overall, everything about this fits together really well. There's nothing that's awkward or weird or stupid or boring about it. Every single piece feels like it should be there, and that's what I like about it. Do you have a mount, Nally? Do you have a mount? Hmm. Not sure of a mount. If you're not sure, you don't have to do it. I feel I stick without. I don't want to risk it. That's a smart decision. Nally, good job. I like your transmog a lot. You've put a lot of work into it, and it looks great. Let's go to the next one. What the fuck? Greetings, Asmongold. I'm Dr. Vine Geister, and here is my assistant. 
Why are you guys having such a hard time not standing next to each other? Can you guys make some more space? It's not your fault. It's the other guy's fault. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, okay? If they... If they re-release ICC with completely updated models, you would be Professor Putricide. Like, you wouldn't look like him. You wouldn't do anything like that. You would be Professor Putricide. This is one of the coolest and most incredible looking sets that I've seen in a long time. This is fucking amazing. If you look right there, he's obviously got that backpack on them. Do you need any hair implants? Uh, yes, but not from you. I don't think that you have a whole lot yourself. This is absolutely amazing. I love the, uh, the asymmetrical shoulders that he's got going on here with the more, uh, you know, looks like more like an alchemist as his leggings and his gloves too. The weapon right there looks fucking amazing. The makeshift scapel that's made out of bones with the lantern right there with the green inside of it. This, the, uh, the, what is that? The fucking Super Soaker 3000 backpack that you're able to get from a number of different places, but one of them is from Blood Boil. I don't know if that's the specific one. And then, oh my god, I didn't even notice that. He's got more potions on this. Holy shit, this is really nice. God damn! Wow! Wow! This is fucking- This is Liddy! And he's even got his little guy with him. Holy fuck, this is good. Alright, Geister. Do you have a mount with this set? Or is this a standalone? The biggest of dicks. My assistant have a mount too. What the fuck? So he's wearing... Oh, it's like... Oh, this... It's a... No, no, no. It's a patchwork mount. Because look, it, it's all sewn together and shit. That's why he has it. No, no, no. It, yeah, it, it's not... That's not bad. This is the only one that's really like this. Holy fuck. Wow. Wow. And also, it has a... Yeah, this guy gets on the mount, too? I could use the rat, but less than in theme. Yeah, the rat... The rat's good in a way, but it, yeah, it's not really in the same theme. It's too bad that you can't, like, ride on one of the abominations, because I feel like that would really be perfect. But yeah, I think this is absolutely the best one. Is this the, uh... Yeah, Battlebound Warhound? This one drops specifically from the Theater of Pain. This is Big Dick. Slime Serpent's not in the game. Uh, or it's not discovered yet. This is Big Dick. Big, 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 big dick. I love this. Geister, absolutely incredible. Great work. Seven more, and then we do the next giveaway. Ruthless Gladiator Zuna from the guild Sea of Thursday. Now let's go ahead and look at what he's got going on here. Right there, those shoulders are the elite, cruel gladiator shoulders of the offset recolor of the tier 6 and Tomb of Sargeras set. Absolutely incredible. I love it. On top of that, the gloves are from the same place. The belt and the legs and the boots are all from Mythic Trial of Valor. The weapon. Let's see what the weapon is. Using the enchant from Warlords of Draenor uh, 2400, I believe, from the enchant. Also with the Night Fae back enchant as well. I believe the mace is from Night Fae too. With the tabard of the Horde. This is absolutely fucking amazing. This is peak orc performance. I really like the facial painting too on it. This is really really nice. I love it. This is big dick. Now, I do want to say one thing before we get into the mount. The shit that you've got on your back doesn't really fit with the rest of your set. This is a set that you fight Alakir on the top of a mountaintop with while you're riding inside of a tornado. This doesn't have any leaves or trees around it. I'm not a fan of that. Everything else, however, I think is very good. Let's see the mount. It fits. I understand it. Okay! The Drake of the East Wind from the glory of the Cataclysm Raider. This is for my first mount along. Oh my god. Now this is how you use a Storm Drake. That is a motherfucking Storm Drake. There it is, boys. There it is, boys. You love to see it. Zuna, I love it. This is really, really, really nice. 
That's a fucking shaman. Yeah, this is so good. This is so fucking good. I'm impressed the most. The fact that this guy is not only a rank 1 gladiator, but also a rank 1 transmog player. I'm impressed. This is incredible. I really, really like seeing this. Absolutely amazing. Zuna, I'm proud of you. Let's get a little round of applause, Zuna. And also, guys, sir, like, you guys have just been, just been killing it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's good. Let's go to the next one. Good job. Oh. Mass Chuckler Goldanti. I really like this set. I, I'm gonna be real, like, I, I, dude, this guy is a straight-up fucking, like, Necrolite level 54 in Western Plague Lands that runs after you, and you're trying to get away from him, and he casts a fucking Shadow Bolt, and it kills you as you're running away. It's so good. This is low res Goldan. This, this guy is straight out of Vanilla WoW's Skolomons. This is Vanilla WoW Skolomon Skoldan. I love it. You guys like it? He's also afraid of COVID? Yeah, and he's also afraid of COVID. He's taking precautions seriously. He knows all about plagues because he makes them, and that's why he's wearing a mask. Of course. You love to see it. Amazing job, Goldante. Absolutely incredible. Kind of boring. If you think this set is boring, you didn't play in Vanilla WoW. And yes, sir, I do have a mount. Go ahead. Risen Mare? Close enough. Raven Joyce Death Charger. I love it. I love it. This is it, dude. This is it. Like, this is... It, it, it's, it's good. Like, a big dick? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. What do you guys think? Like, I, this is actually a perfect set. Like, all, all the rest of them, right? It, it'd be really good. This is a, so good. I love it, man. I absolutely love it. Now, obviously, would the Risen Mare even be better? I don't know. Like, the Risen Mare is, like, really kind of low res. It's not really that great. But this Rivendur's Death Charger is 100% fucking good. I love this mount. It's one of my favorite mounts in the game. Whenever I got this mount, it was one of the best days ever. I fucking love this. Nice job, Goldante. Yeah, this is like, dude, the last three that we've had have been absolutely insane. I'm, I'm really, really impressed by this. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, really fucking impressed by this. Let's go on to the next one. Man, homie. You inspired me to transmog farm? Love you and chat. Well, they love you too. Congratulations on your set, man. This is fucking phenomenal. Man, homie. Now, I'm gonna be honest, man, homie. This one sucks. I think it sucks. That's Alunath as a weapon. I, I don't know. I, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's that good. Y'all like it? You guys actually like this. Okay. Uh, I, I'm not really a big fan. Um, so, obviously, this is that chest piece there. I think comes from BFA or Legion. I forgot which one's in with the shoulders as well. That helmet there comes from the Dark Moon Fair from the, uh, the, the Risen Death Knight guy that you're able to kill. And uh, also the gloves. I think that's one of the tier set gloves. I'm not 100% sure, though. I do think the weapon is a very interesting choice, and the gloves do match with the weapon, and I think that's good. Uh, having multiple items like that fit together are nice, and I also think the way that your boots look with your uh, the bottom of your, your dress there do work as well. Helm doesn't go with the set. I think it's it's just it's not really that good, right? I mean, that's all. I'm not saying it's terrible. It's just not, like, insane. Now, I will, I'll, I'll give him this, okay? Let's give him this. If, if, if this man is able to pull out a mount, if you can get on a mount to save this set, you might still have a chance, man, homie. Do you have a mount? I says, I'll try. Okay, he doesn't have a mount. Uh, oh. Huh. <laughs> Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Yo, it actually fits! Look at this! Like, the, the green on the weapon and the gloves match the little things on the mount? 
and then the, the purple there matches the fucking the back of the spider armor and then the brown there matches the actual spider's face holy fuck this is perfect this is insane jesus i am impressed like dude whenever i first saw your set i thought it was fucking garbage this is so good with the mount. This is the first set that we've seen that like, eh, it's like eh, eh, eh. but the mount. This is a genuine, bona fide, one hundred percent saved. I love it, man. I absolutely fucking love it. Next, Countess Aeolus. Can you go off your mount so it's easier for me to see him? I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. I, I don't know. I don't know about this one. It, I, I don't know about this one. Of the other ones, I do know. But of this one, I'm not sure if I know. I think this is an okay looking set. But is it an amazing set? Is it a great set? Hi. Hello. Okay, double pokey boys from... Uh, from that. Those are Shadowlands weapons, I believe. Yeah, those are Shadowlands weapons. I think those are just like questing items. The leggings there, I, I don't even really know where a lot of these pieces of gear even come from, to be honest. This is all, like, very, very rare, assorted, and uh, actually kind of uh, unique leather armor. Everybody always wears that face mask, but you never see those shoulders. The chest piece there is also quite rare as well. Now, the leggings there, we do see the leggings a lot. And those boots, of course, are from the... That's from Naxxramas 25, man. That's the Valorous... Uh, uh, tier 3. Oh, it's a tier 7.5. I forgot what it's called. Uh, Bone Scythe. Bone Scythe armor. I like to see that. Good. Now, I don't think this is a particularly amazing. I'm going to be honest. This, this is a rare set of armor, but there's a reason why it's rare. It's because it doesn't really fit very well together. Now, we're going to ask them to get on their mount. We are going to ask them to get on their mount, but I'm very concerned about this, this individual. Oh. Okay. Okay, riding on the check belt and pet. Okay, give me a minute, I'll do that. And um that actually works really well. So that that uh that is the class order hall mount for rogues. Okay, let's see, what's the belt? Etched bone waistband. What is that? I don't remember what that is. Why why do you want me to look at that belt? What's special about that belt? I don't remember. Oh, the skull. Oh, oh. Oh, so it's got the... It's got the crow's skull on it. Okay. And then also the raven right there. And then also the... Oh, okay. I like it. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? Guys? It's fine. Yeah, I think it's really good, man. I really like it a lot. Uh, I'm a fan. I think it looks nice. It's pretty dope. Pretty dope. Yeah, I agree with that. It is pretty dope. Aeolus, great work. I like it a lot. Proud of you. Good job. Let's go to the next one. Don't like the weapons? Yeah, weapons are a little bit mediocre, but they match with also the uh, that like hip thing that she's got. Oh. Aldrich, the faceless one from the guild. Zurg is professional. The Firelands normal mode shoulders. I like that a lot. The leggings and the boots from Old Deer. These, uh, these are the Warglaves from Revendreth. Huh. This is the first sophisticated demon hunter I think we've ever seen. Yeah, this is... I, I like this. It's good. This is a new vibe for a demon hunter. Because you see demon hunters all the time, and they're relatively boring, and, you know, it's whatever. Uh, Dark Souls 3, yeah, Aldrich, the, the devourer, right? The joke of a boss, completely fucking easy. Um, but that's okay. In general, this is a really nice set. This is a great set. Aldrich, I like this a lot. I'm proud of you. I'm impressed with you. Now, gentlemen, do you think that they can get on a mount that can really take this set home and bring it into the top five? Because right now, I'm not sure. 
I think that they can do it if it's perfect. If it's perfect. Aldrich, are you ready to try to take things to the next level? Are you ready to try and get on a mount? Or is this a standalone transmog by itself? I only have a few mounts. Sad face. Here's the truth, Aldrich. Your set is really, really well done. I am incredibly impressed by this set. Good job. You don't need a mount. Good job. Next one. Siltwing Avatross? Uh, that's the one that you get from Doubloons and BFA? No. I really like this. Like, maybe this is just like the edgy 14-year-old in me? But I really like this. I think this is fucking cool. What do you guys think? Like, I, I like it. Yeah, I, I like it. It's dog shit? Yo, Asmon, I want to say that I started to play WoW due to your mount competitions a bit more than one year ago. Thank you for all, dude. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you very much. So let's look at what we've got here, right? In my opinion, I think this set looks really, really nice. But this part of the set looks really nice. I love this part of the set. This is so cool. Like the uh, the mythic helmet from, I, I think that's like the rogue set in Legion with the, the shoulders there for monks and Antorus. Like this is really, really good. Now the bottom set, this is where things start to fall apart. Now, I, I think that the belt there is interesting. That's of course the Antorus belt for demon hunters. And the war waves are a little bit awkward this guy basically looks like a demonic christmas tree now, i understand that it's not terrible i mean it's, it's not the worst look to have i mean there's a lot of people that look even worse than that but overall i think it's decent yeah it, it's decent and especially the top half i'm really impressed by so i'm not going to completely shit on you because the top half is really cool i like it a lot and i'm even okay with the different colors with the war waves i think that's cool too so don't don't think that I dislike that. Now, do you have a mount to go with this set? I, I'm completely okay with different colors. I am completely okay with different colors. Huh. You know, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I actually think that looks pretty good. It's not like, you know, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But it's good. This is quite nice. Or even this. I don't know about that one. I think the other one was way better because of the way it framed. Uh, I think the other one was way better because it framed the uh, the red in your character way better. Like, th this one is not, uh, yeah. Like, the way you can kind of see the red right in between the two green. Uh, that is clean, man. That is clean. I love it. Great job, Exerman. Great fucking job. And did I say three? Am I doing one more? Or is this is it time for the giveaway? I'm trying to remember. It's one more? Okay, one more. Siopiat from the guild Eventide. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, that's I think the Nighthold belt for like, is that rogues in in Legion? With, oh, these weapons right here. These weapons come from BRF. That's from the uh, the Iron Maidens. Uh, you never see these weapons. These weapons are badass. I like that a lot. And I don't know, like, does this set really have what it takes? Let me ask you guys that. Does this set have what it takes no it doesn't i feel like it's good that's the thing is like we you go into eu and you realize that there are so many people that have really really good sets and the truth is that i oh come on chat yeah now you're making them sad ah it's the way it goes sayo this is a really nice set i think that it's interesting and cool now, is it going to be a top fiver? I don't know if it's going to be. I'm a little bit nervous about that. 
But what I will say is that I think that it looks good. Okay. Chat, now you are allowed to make fun of him. Now, now, now it is, now you are allowed. Okay. Uh, before, I felt bad for him. Now, you, you, you have brought this on yourself. You, you did this to yourself. I don't want to hear about it. Okay? I'm sorry, but there it is. That was my apology. It is what it is. All right. Zildk, the elite death knight from the guild wasted slot. Now, obviously, this set's pretty much a full green set that we've seen many times before. Now, I don't really like a whole lot of the um, 1.5k. No, people popped off with these donations. Like, it's been absolutely insane. Uh, a lot of the ones that you guys see there were donated hours ago. And so, uh, we read a lot of those already. Some- all the people that, that have donated are absolute fucking gods, alright? That they are absolute fucking gods. So keep that in mind. But, uh, yeah, it's been a huge amount. Anyway, let's look at ZilDK, the elite death knight from the guild wasted slot using- Oh, shit! Oh my god! No way! Is it a real one? Holy shit, it's a real- That's a real Corrupted Ashbringer! Oh my god! On a Death Knight! I guess it's a Count Bound, but still! Fuck yeah, dude! That is insane! Okay, so he's got obviously the World of Fire's Helmet and Shoulders, which are from the Crocoon bosses, and also from the Rares, I believe, as well. Uh, that chest piece there is from the uh, Nighthold set for Warriors. The belt there is from the Antorus set for DKs. The leggings, boots, and gloves there are all from just crafting that you're able to get back in, uh, in, in Wrath of the Lich King. And the backpack there is for Necro Wards as well. I really like this entire set, and I think that it looks decent. But I'll be honest, the main reason why I'm saying this is good is 100% because of Corrupted Ashbringer. But you hardly ever see this anymore, and even though a lot of people have it back in Classic, not that many people still have it in Retail WoW from all that many years ago. This is really, really nice. So listen, ZillDK, do you have a mount to go with this set? Building the set around it. Okay. Let me tell you something. You are very lucky that you have Corrupted Ashbringer. You are so lucky that you have Corrupted Ashbringer. Because this mount, the Headless Horseman mount, does not match. I'm sorry, it does not match. I'm not into it, I'm not about it. It's just not there, man. Yeah, it, it's, it's just not really quite there. To be honest, the entire set is not really super amazing, but whenever somebody sees Corrupted Ashbringer, it, it's hard not to be impressed. So I do like it, though. Let's, let's be honest. I do like it. However, um, nothing else is perfect. Don't have Felsteel Annihilator? Well, you better get the farm in it. Let's go to the next one. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Wow. I really like this. Holy shit. Been watching you since Legion whenever I started. Wow, glad you're back. Something nice always to look forward to daily helps a lot always. Hinkles, man. This is incredible. I really like this a lot. Those shoulders right there are from Trial of the Crusader. You never see those again. That's the Court of the Harvester's Tabard. That belt right there is from the Mythic Siege of Orgrimmar set that you're able to get for Paladins. The helmet is from the Mythical Deer set as well as the gloves. Those boots there come from Legion. And I think those legs, I'm not really even entirely sure where those legs are from. Those might also be the Tier 9 leggings as well for Horde only. And then that sword right there is from Mythic Mithrax and also Old Deer. This is incredible. I really, really like this. Boots are BFA? Uh, yeah, that, I think that, yeah. I think they're part of the, uh, the Kul'Tira set. Did I say Legion? Yeah, th yeah, those are BFA boots. Those are not Legion. Regardless, this is fucking amazing. Well, let, let's look at your first set first, okay? Yeah, let, let's look at this. What do you guys think? I am really impressed by this. I like it a lot. I think this is really, really good. Super clean? Yeah, I would say so. I think this is really clean. It's really well designed. Everything about it fits together perfectly well. And I honestly think this is a great looking set. Yeah, good job, Hankles, man. Great job. Scared and aroused? That's the best combination you can have. 
Reminds me of Cirrus from PoE. I can see why you say that. Yeah. This is a really, really nice set. I love it. He doesn't have a mount, though. Let's see the second set. Yeah, let's see your second set. Okay. Fingers crossed. Thank God you went with your first set. Absolutely great decision to go with the first set. Really, really good decision. Uh, I actually think that it was the smartest thing you've done. Uh, even smarter than making the first set is to go with the first set. This set sucks. I, I really don't like it. I don't think that it looks that great. Uh, I think that it's interesting. The belt is certainly interesting, but I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't like it. It's just too generic. It's also one of the sets that I've used before with those shoulders and gloves. And so, uh, it, it could be better. And also the tabard and the weapon too, sometimes. Overall, it's all right. Uh, for anybody that's wondering what these pieces are, those shoulders right there come from Mythic Emerald Nightmare. Those gloves were from... Uh, those gloves were from... See if I can if I can do it all from memory. Uh, the gloves were from Mythic Trial of Valor. The sword was from Normal Mode Mithrax in Aldir. The boots were from Antorus. It was an offset paladin item that you were able to get, I think, specifically from the third boss. The leggings were from Tomb of Sargeras. It was the paladin offset armor. And then the tabard there came from the Army of the Light for being exalted from them. And the belt was from the... 8.1 was it no 7.1 content that got added with the broken shore Hinklesman, great job with your first set i love it let's go to the next one all right let's go what is this What is this? Hey, Asmon, great streams. You inspire me to farm mounts and stuff. I got an idea of using weapons as a cloak and the claws on the hands like a weapon. I like it. So the weapons are a cloak? I forgot about He said he didn't have a mount. So the weapons are a cloak? What the fuck? Yeah, he said he didn't have a mount. I kind of like this, like wings. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look anything like wings, but that's okay. Oh, wow. Okay, the Blood Gorge... Is this Blood Gorge Feaster? Uh, no, Expedition Blood Swarmer. Oh, you're able to get this from Talanji whenever you get exalted, I'm pretty sure. This is pretty good. I, I like it. Uh, the mount does look decent, especially with, like, the, uh, the, the weird morbid nature of the way the rest of the armor works, too. Uh, yeah, this is really nice. It's a runner-up. I, I think uh, I really like this set. I like how small and how dangerous it is. That's one of my favorite things about it. I think it looks great. Other than that, I mean, everything else is kind of average, right? It's decent. But I do generally like this set. Well, up into my quote. No, no, no. The thing is, like, everybody's got a chance to try and do something different. It, you know, you're not always going to have the most perfect idea that everybody likes. And, you know, it's just fucking amazing. Overall, I think it's good. This is a good, it's a good set. It's great. And trying something different is awesome. I like it. So, Prayable, great job. Look up, please. Okay. What are, what are we looking for? What, what are we looking for here? Is, is there something I'm missing? It's all subjective, no right or wrong. I mean, there are some things. Look at, what's this here? Uh, look, you know what I mean with the wings. Okay. The weapons look similar to the wings of the mount. Eh. eh. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. I mean, almost. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a reach. Definitely a bit of a reach, but I, I like... Sometimes reaches are good. Reach around. Uh, all right, pre... The prestigious Skrillex 2 from the guild Scrubs for Hire. Now, this is really cool because he's using the mythic Castle Nathria shoulders and belt. The uh, chess piece there, I can't really quite tell what chess piece that is, but um, it looks like the gloves and the, the boots. Wait, what the fuck? Those are the exalted boots from Vanilla WoW, and this shield is from Tier 6 back in Burning Crusade? Dude, this is really nice. Damn. 
Oh, right. Uh, yeah, whatever happened to the Witcher music? What the fuck? I forgot all about that. Yeah, I don't know what the hell it was. Yeah, I forgot all about the Witcher music. Okay. A little bit better. All right, nice. So anyway, I really like this set. I think that the... The... the like, he's using vanilla WoW items. That's crazy. With, like, Shadowlands items. And it doesn't really look that bad. I'm impressed by that. Overall, this is really, really cool. What do you guys think? Uh, I'm impressed. I like it. The shield? Dude, the shield. I've never seen somebody use this shield. I think this one's from, like, Black Temple or Hydro, right? Fellstone Bulwark. Ah, uh, Fellstone Bulwark. I believe that's Hydro, but I could be wrong. It's from one or the other, though. Uh, it's so, so well done. Like, I'm very impressed by this. Let's see the mount. Okay. Alright. What do you guys think? It matches the name of the mount. Title matches the name of the mount. Oh, the prestigious, and it's, uh, it's the courser, right, okay. The prestigious brawn courser, and his name is prestigious, okay. Well, the problem with the prestigious brawn courser, bronze courser, it's really not prestigious. It, it's just, it's just not. I mean, let's be honest. It, it's, like, what do you have to do? Get, like, honor level six for it or something? Who gives a shit? It's not that big of a deal. I understand that you're excited about the mount that you got. That's really cool. But at the end of the day, I don't really think that it fits your set very well. Overall, your set looks much better as a standalone and not necessarily with the mount attached to it. But that's okay. It's not a terrible decision. It's not a terrible choice. It does look decent, okay? So Skrillex, good job. It could be a lot worse. What the fuck? Real fucking funny. Winner for sure? You know, okay. Uh, uh, okay, dude. Like, come on, man. You really gonna fucking pull this shit? And look at the hair, too. Look at the hair. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Poke with the fucking frog. That's great. Okay, do you have a mount? Do you have a mount, Asmon Gold? Wait, can I show you my real transmog? Wait, this wasn't your real transmog? You're telling me you have a real transmog as well? Is that right? Sure. Why don't you go ahead and show me your real transmog? Go ahead. I am so nervous right now. I don't know what this is going to be. It's dedicated to Ms. K Listen, son, you spend too much time on Twitch. Like, you spend way too much time on Twitch. Like, this is- this is fucking insane, man. What? oh my god. It's an egg? Yeah. Yeah, we get it. It's an egg. Wow. Okay, listen. I- I- I've encountered myself. It's funny? It is funny. Okay, I'm not a turkey. It's clever. Okay? It's clever. I mean, not as clever as me. <laughs> but it's okay. It's good choice. And, uh, you tried, and you did well. Good job, As- Yeah, god. Pat myself on the back. Yeah. Good. Maybe I should give myself the win. My mount now. Sure. Okay, let's go to the next one. Count Abomination from the guild, the Scarlet Scourge. He's changing his set.
Holy shit. You know who this reminds me of? Maybe this is like a weird reference. It reminds me of Martyr Lagarius in, in, uh, Bloodborne. I don't know why, it just kind of does. With like the, it's like undead, he's got like the helmet there. I love this, with like the staff. I, mean, I know Logarius has a scythe, but still, this is really, really good. Fuck, man, I love it. He's using like the, the back piece for Vinthyr and also the Vinthyr weapon as well. With the Sinfall enchant on the weapon, that's how the fire is coming out of it like there. Oh, that's so fucking good. With the tabard right there of the Bloodthirsty, that belt right there, I think that comes from Hellfire Citadel. I'm not 100% sure on that. This is really, really good. He's like an undead king. What do you guys think? D3 Leoric. Maybe, yeah. I love this. This is a big dick set. Do you have a mount that goes with this set? Yeah, do you have a mount that goes with the set? Oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. There it is, dude. There it fucking is, dude. You love to see it. It's Blanche? Yeah, it is. There it is, dude. Very true. Good job, Abomination. I really, really, really like this set. It's so bad. Like, the weapon is so good. Uh, one of the things that I don't like about the Shadowlands back pieces is they hide your weapon whenever it's sheathed. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. But other than that, I think this is fucking amazing. Great job. Let's go to the next one. Another abomination. Greetings from the Scarlet Scourge. Okay, yak. No, or one of those, okay. What is this? This looks like a Mortal Kombat character. What the fuck? It's like an old undead Shogun? It's an undead samurai. Yo, these guys are really good at tran- Yeah, Yosemitsu. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Holy shit. Yeah, especially, dude, the weapons are so good. God damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of this. I like it a lot. By the way, if you exit on Courage now, you will see something actually incredible. Okay, uh, I will after I finish. Something unimaginable. Okay. I, I will after I finish. Yeah, this is fucking badass. Josh Mitsu is from Tekton. Uh, true. Yeah, uh, he's he's not from Mortal Kombat. Uh, yeah, I know that. Like, I didn't really play a whole lot of fighting games, but I know like a lot of the main characters. The only fighting game that I really got into was Soul Calibur. I fucking loved Soul Calibur. Anyway. Oh yeah, yeah, he no Yos yeah yeah Yosemitsu was in Soul Calibur, wasn't he? Maybe he was. I don't remember. Uh, regardless. This is a really, really, really nice set. I fucking love it. It looks great. Do you have a mount that goes with it? By the way, did you watch the Scarlet Covenant on YouTube? Oh, watch it. Okay, I, I guess I haven't seen it. I saw one of yours. Okay. With the banner on it and everything? I think the mount is definitely not as strong as the rest of the set. But also, the Under Armour right here looks really, really good. You guys love it. You guys fucking love it. Look behind you. Wow. Happy spring, boys. You know, I'm kind of glad that we got this mount. The way it changes with the seasons, I think, is really cool. Because it gives you four different times a year to get excited about the mount changing. And it's one that, like, everybody has. I like it. That's cool. Saruman is shaking. <laughs> I like it, dude. Hmm. Okay. Abomination. And Abomination. Great fucking job, boys. Amazing. Let's go to the next one. Baroness Ralga. Now this is generic plate wearer transmog number 17. 
Uh, that helmet right there comes from Olduwar. The shoulders are from, uh, that's the tier three warrior shoulders and also the tier three warrior legs. Those boots come from, I think, Olduwar as well. Those gloves come from ICC. The belts from Dragon Soul and the weapons are from the Frost Artifact weapons. It's not really too special. Uh, it's not really too amazing. We've seen this a hundred times in a spy. Look, we've seen these a hundred times, Ralga. I, I don't think that this one's gonna hit the top five. I'm gonna be real. It looks really good, but we've seen it a hundred times. Probably realistically 200 times, but come on. We gotta see something a little bit more than that, a little bit more exciting than that. But I am impressed, I like it. It's not really that bad. So we'll take it and we'll go with it. I think Shadowlands is better than Classic when it comes to combat. I don't know. But this set right here is a little bit of both. I mean, you've got some uh, some vanilla WoW gear. Uh, there's actually no Shadowlands gear in this, but I think that it looks good. Overall, Ralga, I'm impressed. I think that it looks decent. Good job. Unfortunately, though, we've seen it a hundred times before. Like, so many times before. Isn't it crazy how well designed the Warrior Tier 3 is that it still looks good with items that came out over 10 years later? Dude, the Warrior Tier 3 is the best armor in the entire game, period, ever. Ralga, do you have a set? Uh, sorry, do you have a, a, a weapon? Or not, a mount, a mount. Do you have a mount? Do you have a mount? Pally Tier 2? No. He says he'll try. To be honest, that's actually a really good combination with your, your set. And I actually think this is the best mount that you could have possibly gotten on. So I know obviously we gave you a hard time with your set because we've seen it a lot of times before and it doesn't go away. But the truth is that that set with that armor looks absolutely amazing and I really like it. I think everything about this fits together really well and I'm impressed by it. So you did a good job and overall, I think this looks great. This set never gets old. Yeah, I think it looks really nice. Good job. Nee Zug, famed slayer of Denathrius. This guy's obviously got some sort of fucking Indiana Jones set going on, and I'll be honest, it looks really good. This is a great looking set. This is awesome. Oh, it's a little bit of pirate on him too. He's got the, uh, the ship wheel and also the hook hand. What do you guys think? I like it. Uh, obviously, we haven't really seen a whole lot of pirate transmogs. The reason why I like this a lot is the fact that it's a pirate transmog and it doesn't overuse the BFA cult here in gear. Because a lot of times whenever you see these, it's just, it's the same worn out stuff. This is a great pirate transmog and it doesn't actually hit BFA at all. I'm really impressed by this, Nizug. Good work. I really, really like this a lot. He's like a ship's quartermaster or something. This is badass. Okay, do you have a mount? Zug, do you have a mount? Albatross. No. Okay. Okay. All right. You've got the undersea usurper mount. We've got the all, all crabby. Oh, crabby. All right. I like it. I know the color does not perfectly fit. Oh, this is a this is a fit with theme, obviously. Uh, it, it's not going to be a fit with everything else, but this is really, really, really nice. I like it. It looks good. Duh, but I sit on a fucking chest. Hey, not too bad, is it? And uh, yeah, it's predictable. I actually thought he was going to get on the albatross that you get from the coins. So he got on this one instead. And I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, good job. Very good job. Nizzo. Let's go to the next one. Tillman from the Guild Pathogen. Hmm. Okay, those shoulders right... After once already peering into the Shadowlands this time around, Odin decided to send me his trusty ranger assassin alongside mortals to help infiltrate Rivendreth and take the fight to Sire Denathrius. I like it. I do. So those boots right there, I believe, are the Shaman Tier 11 boots. That belt there and also the helmet come from the Legion set for shamans. Those shoulders come from, I believe, uh, Odin does not agree... <laughs> Um, the, the, sh the shoulders come from to, uh, Trial of Valor, excuse me, and the gloves there are one of my favorite sets. I really, I, it always really gets me how well Blizzard did of a job on recreating the Tier 6 sets. I genuinely think that Blizzard knocked it out of the park with the Tier 6 sets and, and, and redoing them. 
And the Hunter set is one of the best ones. They were fucking amazing. And also, again, Court of the Harvesters to Bard. We're seeing a lot of these, and I think it's because it's a good set. Overall, this does look really good. I like it. All the colors match together really well. The boots are a little bit awkward, but other than that, I think everything else does look decent. The weapon, of course, is from the... Uh, it's the artifact weapon weapon. Uh, uh, marksmanship artifact weapon. Let's see the mount. Let's see the mount. Blanche. This doesn't match at all. Why? Why'd you get on this mount? Why? Why would you do this to me? Nothing else fits too well. That's true. Thematically, this one does. Yeah, I guess so. Infiltrating Revendreth? All right, you know what? Thematically, I'll give it to you. No, it's all right. I'll, I'll give it to you. It's okay. Uh, the other one, this one does look a little bit better. I think Blanche is just, it's such a, th it, it's such a, <coughs> it, it's hard to actually get a really good, a good set that fa that fits with Ban, fuck. I was going to say fats with Blanche. Uh, that, that fits with Blanche. It's great. All right, let's go to the next one. Tucker the Fabulous with Mr. Crab. All right. So this is a little bit more of a of a mix between pirate and demon hunter. And honestly, I think this looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Thoughts? Respectfully, guys. Respectfully. Hey, 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 hey. Respectfully. Calm down. Uh, I don't want to hear any of that. I don't want to hear any of that negative, any of that weird shit. Respectfully. I do like it. Tucker, this does look really, really good. I, I think that it fits very well. And overall, I mean, look at it. You've got obviously the, uh, that's the rogue belt from Antorus, and also two of the older uh, swords as well. And this, uh, this is the, um, the OnlyFans chess piece. I like that one a lot. One of my favorites. And uh, the, one, uh, the one shoulder looks really good. And honestly, I think this looks great in general. I, I like it a lot. Wrong weapons? I don't think it's wrong weapons entirely. I think it looks decent. Tucker, now it's time. Now you're ready. Now you have to get on the mount. Get on the mount. The best mount that you can ever possibly get on. You got on a fucking donkey. You got on the fucking pack mule from Arathi Highlands Rares. From that disgusting little kobold hiding in the mine. And you decided to get on a motherfucking donkey. Maybe she's the girl from the clip that got Forzen banned. Tucker, why did you choose this mount? Why did you choose that mount? When are you going to get this? Uh, soon. Like, probably the next time I kill it, I'm going to get it. Yeah, it's going to be the next time I kill it. It's going to drop 100%. I just know it. I can feel it. Uh, yeah, guys. It, it, yeah, 100%, guys. Trust me. Tucker. Listen. This could have been a lot worse. Could have been a little bit better. Could have been a lot worse, so. Let's go to the next one. Chris, the insane from the guild Synergy. This is a nice looking mount. I do like the affliction weapon, uh, the affliction artifact weapon. I like that a lot. Those shoulders right there. Those are the offset recolored versions of the Warlock tier 10 shoulders from ICC. The helmet there. I love the little fucking crow, like fucking plague crow armor. It looks badass. Let's see what the cloak is right there. I think that cloak comes from somewhere in Warlords, Drain, or Legion. I don't remember quite exactly. Overall, this guy looks like he's already making coronavirus. He's making COVID 2021. Chris, I like this a lot. It looks great. We've seen this before. We've seen many things like this, but nothing exactly like it. I think the gloves are also from the Darkshore Warfront for Horde. I'm not 100%, but I know the belt is. And the helmet might also be. Can I show you my second bog afterwards? Yes, do you have a mount? Do you have a mount?
Why? Why would you potentially, for any reason or possibility, choose to attach yourself to such an item as that? ICC Plague Doctor. You mean Putricide that you look nothing like? That's also not that amazing, okay? Chris, listen. You're not all you're not always gonna get the fucking you know what I mean? But it is what it is. There it is, dude. Alrighty. Now. I believe. Alright, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me your second set. Yeah, let's see the second set. That's cool. What the fuck? That's really cool. Holy shit. Like... What do you mean TOS? What? I like this. Like, look at the face. It's fucking badass. What's wrong with it? This is really good. Holy fuck. God damn. I'm impressed. I like this one more than the second, than the first one, to be honest. I you should have you should have started with this one, and it would have been way better. Yeah, you should have started with that one. Uh, the bomb and Arabian theme. I I don't really think so. I mean, like, listen, the entire set in general is really good. Like like an undead Arabian warrior or something like that. That's fucking cool. I don't know. I think it is. Let's go all of them. We're gonna go through. You guys are gonna be able to pick the winners. And we're going to see all the losers. <laughs> all right. Dude, EU is so coordinated, man. This is insane. All right. You guys really want me to go outside. You guys get ready. Get ready right now. Get all your sets together. And I'll go outside real quick, okay? He says go now. All right. Here we go. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Jesus, dude. This is insane. Look at them all. There's so many more of them than there was before. This is incredible. Wow. I, I, I'm i honestly speechless, man. Like, this is so cool. And they all have the exact same mount. I love how they're all slightly different, too. That's one of the coolest things about it to me. I really like that a lot. This is so badass, man. With the guild tabard and everything like that, too. Look at him. Holy shit. We are a legion. God damn. Yeah, this is really, really, really cool. EU is so coordinated and so well planned. Oh, and they have all of their... Wait, yo, what the fuck? This guy, Jesus. Oh, this guy's a god. Wait a second. Wait, what the fuck? This guy's got fucking tribute to immortality. And on top of that, he has the scarab lord mount. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm embarrassed. This is what you get over an EU, apparently. Oh my god. This is really, really, really impressive, guys. This is incredibly fucking impressive. Fuck, man. Like, this is join us? Maybe I should make a character over there. That could be really fun. Yeah, I, I could see that being really fun. 1% of Wild's current population is mount. No, there's no way 1% has this fucking... <laughs> there's no way 1% has Scarab Ward, okay? It's like fucking 0. .0001. All right, guys. We're ready. 
get on whatever mount you want me to get on or you want me to see you on and we're gonna pick our top five for this uh for this event nothing's free that guy's afk i know what mount he was on he was originally on the uh, storm drake and kairu was originally on another storm drake as well don't think i forgot And, and specifically, if you think you're being clever, Kairu, you were on the Drake of the North Rind from uh, from uh, Vortex Pinnacle, and Jeezy was on the Drake of the West Wind from Tolbarad. And you were on the Gorm Mount. You are on a new mount. You, I wish. Mods, he's doing it sideways. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Tell me what you guys like. Tell me what you don't like. Got ourselves a lot of winners here. After we finish this, we are doing the uh, the final Big Dick giveaway. Mm-hmm. I don't know who I'm going to give it to. I've got a few ideas, but I really don't know. I think we've got a lot of really, really big dick sets here. Like, I'm talking about big old fucking dicks. Long ones. This is really good. Um, I feel like it's going to be hard for me to even pick a top five. Uh, guys, I want to say... This is the first transmog competition for 2021. We are celebrating this transmog competition by we have raised over a quarter of a million dollars for charity. Thank you to everybody. Thank you for you guys for competing. Thank you to everybody who's been watching. And for you guys that really put a lot of work into your sets. Thank you. And now it's time for that work to be recognized. So guys, we're going to pick the top five. The top five contestants. Now, the first, number five, is one that I would have never guessed. It's one that I have never assumed. But the truth is that the way that he was able to save himself and then bring himself into victory is something that I was incredibly impressed by. And I want people to look at this person and see what the ability of an incredible mount really has. I'm going to give fifth place to Man Homie. And the reason for that is that his armor set was mediocre. But the fact that he put on this mount that matched in three different colors with his armor set absolutely delivers him a fifth place placing. This is an incredibly great set. And the fact that you were able to just completely fucking save it. You took a five and you turned it into a nine. Usually, it takes a big pair of titties for that to happen for me. But listen, man, homie, congratulations. Fifth place. What country are you from? I'm from Spain. And shout out, man. Thank you very much for coming. I appreciate it. And congratulations on fifth place. Now, fourth place here. Fourth place is, uh, honestly, I really, I really like this set for a number of different reasons. Now, obviously, one of the main reasons is it reminds me a little bit of myself. It reminds me of myself because of how well the set matches and how much the set's mount really fits it and how it added value and it made it look better. And that's why we're going to give fourth place to Ruthless Gladiator Zuna from the Guild Sea of Thursday. This is an incredibly well-designed set. Everything about it fits very, very well. I really like it a lot. I think the mount is incredible. I love it. And overall, I think this is one of the better sets that we've seen in here. And in my opinion, it's the fourth best one. Zuna, great job. I like it a lot. I'm proud of you. Good work. I'm going to give you the red, red cross. And also, like, 
I want you to understand the power of restraint. Do you know what country are you from, by the way? Um, the power of restraint is having a rank one gladiator title and probably other multiple gladiator titles. Finland, there it is. And not using them. Because another mount that's very basic and very simple actually mats be matches better. That's competence. That's, rest that's restraint. Think about that. Third place. Third place. Third place reminded me a lot of myself. The truth is, it did. It reminded me of the good old days. It reminded me of the time whenever, you know, things were a little bit simpler. You didn't have quite as much armor on. It wasn't really quite as high poly. And you know what? Those were the good times. And that's why we're going to go ahead and we're going to give third place in this transmog competition to the masked chuckler Goldante. This is an incredibly amazing, very well done set. Every piece in this set fits together perfectly. He's even COVID compliant with his mask on. Everything about this is amazing. This reminds me so much of the vanilla WoW, like, uh, you know, necromancers and all the different NPCs and Skolamons and NPCs in, uh, you know, Western and Eastern Plague Lands. I love it. It's great. I understand some people might disagree with this one, but as somebody who played vanilla WoW, this one, yeah. That's true. That, I, don't worry about them. For, for somebody that played Vanilla WoW, I have a lot of appreciation for this set, and that's why I'm giving it third place. Good job, Robante. Good job. Good. Now. Thank you, man. I'm from Sweden, by the way. What's up, man? Thanks for watching. Now. Second place. It was a set that I, uh... In a lot of ways, it was familiar to me. Because I've, uh, seen... I see that set very regularly. I do. Many people, uh, they use the set. And they, uh... Try to take the set and do their own thing with it. But the truth is that this set right here, there's no need to cry because Abomination, you just won second place. This is one of the most badass, old, desecrated king sets that I've ever seen. This is amazing. And the fact that you're using Blanche with it absolutely kills it. This is really, really, really good. Abomination, I love this. Can you get off the mount and show them the, the, the weapon again? Because I think the weapon really takes it home. Like, this is really great. Look at that, boys. Fucking badass. This is a very original armor set as well, which is why I rated it a little bit more highly than ones that were slightly more derivative from tier sets. This is really, really good. I like it a lot, Abomination. Congratulations. Good work. Keep it up. Now, first place. First place is a set that honestly, in a different way, did remind me a lot of myself. It had a lot of the same physique as myself. Uh, when I looked at that set, I saw a little bit of me in it. And that's something I didn't really want to see, but it was the truth. Country. Country. Country Abomination. Czech Republic. Thanks for watching, bro. Appreciate it. It's a set that I saw a lot of myself in. And it's also a set that a lot of people compare me to whenever anybody is playing that race. And that's Undead. And so whenever I saw... Whenever I saw Geister on his amazing, incredible, and awesome, very well put together, 2021 professor putricide set with his own patchwork mount riding around on it 
I knew that he had to get first place. Protecting himself from the sun, again, reminding me of myself. I love this set. It's absolutely phenomenal. He even has his own little guy to go with him. This is fucking amazing. And he's a rogue, too. I would have never expected a rogue. This is so... It, it's just, dude... Like, in my opinion, I think this is a clear, far and away first place. Like, I don't even think there's anything close. Like, that, really. I don't think there's even anything close to this. This is so good. It's one of the best transmog sets that I've ever seen. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, it, it's so good, man. It's so fucking good. Everything about it is perfect. And even down to, like, how there's some of the pieces that are still, like, you know, actual uh, alchemist items. And he's got the potions on the side. There's nothing wrong with this. This is exactly what you're looking for whenever you're looking for a first place set. And that's why he's getting first place. Skyster, you are first place. What country are you from? Belgium. Welcome to the stream. We're all from Azeroth here. I'd say you guys just watch my stream and never play WoW. Geister, congratulations on first place. 